Okay, so I have to warn you, today's video will be considered extremely disturbing to some people as it was to me, but I made a decision. If this video gets one person to rethink abortion, one person to see the dark side of abortion or how demonic it is, it was worth it. This is a Noah get the boat moment. The Bible says, as in the days of Noah, so will the second coming of the Son of Man be. And in those days, they were sacrificing children. They were building death altars. And this lady is going to literally show us how to build a death altar to her aborted baby. It's demonic. It's disgusting. It's a culture that we live in today, and we are going to bring light. We are going to expose it. And we're going to see the dark side of abortion, that it's not just my body, my choice, but in reality, it's not your body. It's another body living on the inside of you. Abortion is detestable. We're going to keep blowing the trumpet on it. Let me know what you guys think in the video in the comments. Stay with us as we react to this video. I've only seen about 30 seconds of this video somebody sent me. But we're going to watch the full-length video, and I'm going to give you my thoughts. Stay tuned. Okay, so this video is titled, How to Build an Altar for Your Abortion. Literally, this girl's gonna teach you how to build a death altar. This is totally new age, totally, totally demonic. And I wanna note as well, she ties in yoga. She has yoga for abortion, yoga for this, into all of this. Again, further pointing out how demonic yoga is and how new age it is, but let's watch this together. This will be my first time watching this video, so my reaction will be the same as your reaction, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Building an altar for your abortion can be a really cathartic procedure can be a really cathartic process because it just creates a space for your your sacred container where you can return to whenever you want to meditate whenever you want to think deeply so she's going to build a death altar that's literally what it is and this was happening in the old testament they were sacrificing and building altars to a god named moloch and rolling their children in the fire and if the mom cried while rolling her baby into the fire giving it to this god she would be not, her sacrifice would not be considered worthy or valid. And this is the same thing we're seeing here, just American version. Or contemplate any aspect of your abortion. It's a really beautiful way to just give reverence to the experience and hold the experience in a really sacred way. I want to note something. She's going to go through all of this to build this altar here in a second. When to her and to the, the America, this is just a clump of cells. It's not really a baby. So why go through all of this if it's not really a real human and it's not really a human sacrifice, which it is, but they don't think it is. They think it's just a clump of cells, yet she's going to go through all of this for a clump of cells. That's total. It's a total contradiction off the start. Before Again, I start to build any altar or come into a sacred way with any space or even just to cleanse an already sacred space, I like to light, light some smoke, either some Palo Santo or some sage. Yeah, that just really attracts just demons. And I want to note something. Some of you are watching this saying, well, am I going to get demons from watching this? You don't get demons from watching this. You get demons from participating in it. So just note, you will not get demons from watching this, but you will get demons if you do this or you participate in what she's doing now. She's attracting demons. That's what Sage does. They teach, oh, it gets rid of demons. It cleanses. No, it doesn't. It literally attracts demons. It's it's like a, a help 911 Batman in the sky signal for demonic spirits. Clean myself. Properly smudge the item that's going to be your altar. And smudge all of the items that are going to go onto your altar. Ideally, you've already given the room a really beautiful clean before the... You've given the room a beautiful clean before you put your aborted child in the little jar and uh, sacrifice your child before go the goddess of mold. The altar building has Oh, begun. it's disgusting. It's the days of Noah. It's what it is. If you have it, take a nice cloth that you have that is beautiful and means something to you or a scarf or anything. Okay, let me add another thing here. Many of you guys say demonic items aren't real. Items can't have demons. Items don't mean anything. Okay, these people know they do. I don't know why the church thinks that occult items, demonic items don't matter and don't mean anything. Even though they did in the Bible, nowadays the church says they don't, does, items can't do stuff. And even the new age and the occult, as we see here, recognizes items having demonic power. So yes, items are, can be accursed. Items can have demonic power. We see it in the Old Testament. And she's showing us here, these items do matter. They do mean something in a real way in the spiritual realm. Take another item and just place it on top of the altar. 
From there, you can add a photo or a symbol of something. I work a lot with the, the Mary Guadalupe or Mother Mary energy. Wow, for all of you Catholics watching, look at what she just said. Catholics, of course, are against, against abortion. She's using Mother Mary's picture in her building the death altar to her abortion. Like, so don't tell me there's not some occultism here. And again, the New Age is using Mary's picture, which is so, so demonic. But again, we shouldn't be praying to Mary. We shouldn't be doing anything. The New Age will mix religion into it. The occult will mix religion into it and call it prayer books and this when really it's, it's completely demonic here. But no, you shouldn't be praying to Mary. I like to always have a candle going on my altar. So there's always light within the darkness. Notice how they paint. And there's always light to somehow guide our path. Remember, the devil comes as an angel of light. It can also be nice to have more than one candle. Then I like to add beautiful crystals that can just bring more energetic resonance to the There's altar. the crystals that you Christians say, no big deal, brother. More support there. Don't preach against the crystal crystals, brother. Just arranging it's just from them the earth. How it pleases you. Yet the new I'm also music. going to be adding an Empress tarot card today and there we see the really, tarot cards we always warn against It just symbolizes feminine fertility and feminine energy and The growing in man and the contradiction here you see feminine fertility as she's doing a death altar feminine fertility She wants to encourage fertility when she's gonna go ahead and murder her baby what she does She does talk about how she's gotten abortions in her other videos. I won't even link her channel but she goes into her yoga for abortion, all of her abortion things. And now it's like, it's considered like a good thing to get an abortion. Oh, have an abortion. Kill your baby. I mean, what a world we live in, how sick and twisted. Of, of the new and of creation. Also, I'll just put this is a like little, the pastor little who did Ganesha abortion there, right at a removed obstacles dedication for children. It's just such a contradiction. And then more operationally, just a little bit of um, sacred oil just to help. Calm the system. And we talk about how the New Age counterfeits the what we do. We use anointing oil, as the Bible talks about the oil and the anointing, and they use oil because, again, it's counterfeit of what we're add doing. Add a little dab of this onto you whenever you see fit. I also really like to add the abortion pills themselves to uh, the altar. She's going to add the abortion to really pills. bless the pills that we're going to be Makes taking into our turn. bodies during this process. And... She said to bless the pills we're taking to our body during this process. How Before disgusting is this? Before having your abortion, I would even just recommend Ugh. giving them a nice sage or a nice Palo Santo or with incense or another smoke to really cleanse the energy and really bless them and really put your intention for healing into the pills before you take them. If you guys think this is a joke, it's not. She has tons of videos like this. This is 100% real. Our power real. of intention can really support a lot. This is the new age. This is the occult. And some Agua de Florida, if you like that as well. And then if you have a red claw, go ahead and place that near your altar or under your altar, wherever it makes the most sense and place the container of which you plan to put the, the products of conception or the fetal remains within to catch so that after disgusting. you passed it and save it for later when we, when we find a way to, to bury or otherwise, um, to where we find a way to properly dispose of the fetal remains in a way that gives reverence and respect and support to this, to this sacred abortion experience. So that little jar or that cup, she's going to put the baby, the dead baby, after the baby's passed from those pills that kill the baby, which if you don't know, those are legal now all over. You can get those abortion pills. They're going to put the dead baby in that jar until you're able, she says, in a sacred way to dispose of the baby. And she doesn't want to say baby here because she doesn't want to give it life and say that it's somebody. But why go through all this if it's a cluster of cells? Why even save it? I mean, this is like beyond disgusting and demonic here, guys. Makes me sick to my stomach. After you finished building your altar, go Ugh. ahead 
and just give Gross. it one more. So, so dark. Friends, to really bring this space in, in as your own. Ah, beautiful. And once your altar is complete, go ahead and just sit in front of it, taking a moment to contemplate your experience. That's so gross, guys. Oh, it makes my stomach turn. Again, why make this video? If I could get one person to see the de dark, demonic side of abortion, it's completely worth it. If I could get one person to wake up and say, wait, this is, this is spiritual. This is not just my body, my choice. This is a spiritual reality that we're sacrificing these babies to demonic gods. This is what the New Age looks at it like. This is what the occult looks at it like. The demonic items, the oil, the, f the merry candles, the jar to put the dead baby in after to dispose of. As in the days of Noah, so will the second coming of the Son of Man be. Crazy time that we live in. We need to pray. We need to expose this. We need to show people how dark this is so that people change their mind. And if one person changes their mind after watching this, it was worth it. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. If you want to subscribe, you can. If you want to financially support monthly, you can. It's all down below. We'll see you guys in the next video.